Hey everybody, um, I had all my stuff out ready to film a video on a, how to make a key for these wise locks, but then um, remembered I had a package at the door, and I don't remember doing any trades with anyone anytime recently and all, or anything like that, um, so I, I didn't really know who it was from, and when I got it, uh, the hair on the back of my neck stood up because I cut off everything else of the thing, but I don't know if you can see that, but that is from the lock lab, so... Um, Bosnia Bill has been, he's the reason that I am in Locksport. He's, he's, uh, the only reason I can pick locks and he's the, you know, the reason I got so into, uh, he kind of, he kind of formed the bridge to my obsession with antique locks and like weird keyways and stuff like that. So, um, I'm a huge fan of his and, um, April, I think, uh, he just did a video where he couldn't pick one of my locks in Abyss. That was all messed up, but anyway, he said April he got the box and uh, that I sent him, so it's been about six months, and I don't know if you remember, I won the, uh, let me grab it real quick, some of you may or may not remember, I won this on his channel, back when he was giving the stuff away on his channels, um, it was the big uh, car pick set for all the different types of cars that he said worked really well, I still haven't had a chance to try it, but... Um, I, I, I kind of put it away because I was so floored that I want it. It's really expensive. I was so happy. I want to keep it nice, but I think I'm going to get that out and start trying it. But anyway, I won that shortly after on his channel when he just had to leave a comment, so that was cool. And honestly, I, I even sent in, said in the note, you know, everything here is to say thank you. You don't owe me anything and you know, all that kind of stuff. But, you know, he was still nice enough to send me a box back. Now, um... I sent him a bunch of locks. He's only done videos on two of them. So I'm guessing there's probably some of the stuff that I sent him in here. Just because he's got so much stuff piled up that he probably doesn't have time to do every video and all that kind of stuff that, that people come across. So let's open this and see what he sent me. So we're going to break the seal here. And I'm really excited. But like I said, I think it just might, might be some of my stuff back. But... From what it sounds like, but maybe not. Who knows? I haven't opened it yet, so I'll fold this down. And we're going to take a look in here. Yep. Okay, I see some of my stuff that I sent him. <laughs> I sent him this, uh, uh, basically, uh, sacrifice uh, to the lock gods uh, for him. It was a brass um, number four. It's the brass version of the number three. I sent him that. Um, just I made the I made him a keychain out of the the rest of it, and I just sent him the parts. It's kind of like a joke or whatever. So I got that back. Uh, this is something I sent him, and uh, he said he was having trouble picking it. He he emailed me uh, right after he got it. Said he was having trouble picking it, and I'll tell you why. Um, you see how many pins it has based on the key. It has one, two, three, four, five, six. Right. So you think it's a six pin lock? Well, if he'd have followed his own rule and checked for the number of pins before he started picking and not, because I, I left the key unmummified on purpose. Um, Papa Gleb and Jeff Moss and I went on a huge uh, uh, journey trying to figure out what the heck these were. I bought all these and a lot off of eBay. They're just huge Yale locks. But uh, anyway, um, Jeff Moss was on the hunt for blanks. Papa Gleb was trying to impression keys and all that stuff. And what Papa Gleb found out was that these are seven pins. <laughs> so I left the key mummified and I got him with a taste of his own medicine. I left the key unmummified wide open so he could count those pins, say, oh, it's a six pinner, try to pick it, try to pick it, try to pick it. It is a seven pinner. So that's pretty cool. And then I, I left these, I put these screws in. I threaded the holes where the pins usually go and I put these screws in. Maybe I'll do a video on it just to kind of show you. But anyway, I threaded it and put these brass screws in so he could have gutted it to show everybody. But like I said, I'll probably do that. So that's really it's really nice to have that back. But like I said, I told him he could keep it. And, you know, he could have sent it on to someone for a contest or something like that to help him out or anything like that. So I got that back. Um, looks like this is a 6 UP. Um, that means unpinned. And uh, so that'll be fun to play with. I might be able to make some challenge locks out of it. And apparently... He must have noticed that I like Master because <laughs> he unloaded a lot of his Master stuff on me. So we'll, go, we'll get to that stuff. So 6UP, there's no pins in that, so we can pin that up however we want it to. Um, looks like we got a 1UP that you can pin up. So long shackle, so that's cool. I don't have one. I actually don't have 
a six or a one. So that's really awesome. Thank you for getting me those for my collection. Um, let's see something in here. Uh, another one UP. So he must have got a bunch of these. Maybe uh, Master Lock bombarded him with uh, with uh, uh, mem or, uh, paraphernalia after. They found out he didn't. That's that's the box for one of the another one of the one UPs. Um, looks like we got another six UP or a five UP. That's pretty big. It's a nice one. Sorry, I was looking over the thing, but that's a nice one. So that's unpinned. So we will make a challenge lock out of that. And uh, you can see here that plastic case. That's something I sent him, and that is it was really nice of him to send that back. But like I said, he could have he could have kept it. Ooh, uh, universal tool for keying it. Oh, cool. He sent me a tool. Oh, man. He sent me a tool to key those up. I always wondered how you did that. So cool. Oh, man. That's awesome. And the instructions on how to do it. So that's really cool. Um, I always wondered how the heck you pin those up because I've always seen the UPs and I was like, what the heck? How do you do those? So that is really awesome. <laughs> and then uh, looks like, holy cow, looks like we got a ginormous Abus uh, property of NYCHA. Not sure what that is, but I'm sure there's some fiendish pins in there. Um, that's going to be a lot of fun to pick. So, yeah, nice Abus, uh, 55 millimeter. Holy cow, that is cool. So I'm gonna get some picking practice on that. He, uh, I think he's trying to get me back. <laughs> I'll bet you for for that one I sent him that he couldn't pick. So this is really cool. I'm gonna keep this. I might even frame it, but. Um, you know, like I said, I'm a huge fan of Bosnian Bills, and um, I, he showed this card in a couple of videos he did of mine, so that's really cool. I'm going to hang on to that. That's going to be a really uh, neat part of my memorabilia stash. So, this here is, I sent a note, check that out later, but uh, this here is something, kind of a gag gift I sent him, the, the push key lever lock key maker 5000 user guide and basically it was a um, I made a video a long time ago and that was one of my first uh, one, probably my favorite video I ever made but I figure out how to pick and decode these Miller or like a pancake lock you know like a champion or a Yale or whatever and uh, these are also lever locks here that I've made keys for you see the caveman keys that I made for it but anyhow um, I wrote a detailed I wrote a detailed manual for it, which I even put a, this page was intentionally left blank in it, just to kind of make it give it the, the feel, so it's got all the how-tos of how to, it's got screenshots from the video and all that stuff, so I put in a lot of time on that, and like I said, I'm sure he went through it and all that stuff, and I wanted to make it perfect for him in case he did want to share it with uh, with videos or anything like that, but I guess He's got he's got way too much stuff to do, so he just sent it back to me. But anyhow, um, I'll show you. I'm gonna move this, put it down here. But I'll show you. I made uh, this kit, and uh, it's got the clips you need. It's got the boards you need. It's got I, I uh, cut up a bunch of pins for it. It's got this stuff. This stuff is what I use to. Uh, make the bow of the key of the temporary key and like I said if you don't know what I'm talking about you can go back and, and watch that video it's how to make a lever lock or how to make a key for a, a Harvard six lever lock so anyhow and then I sent him a key and I sent him a cutaway that I made out of plexiglass and uh, basically it's just a sheet of plexiglass and then I drilled out and tapped those and put those in there but um, let's see goes in that way and you can kind of see how the lever lock works but like I said I did it as kind of like just if he needed something for a video but apparently he's just got a lot going on so I understand that and uh, honestly uh, I'm not going to complain about having it back because uh, that's pretty cool you know that, that was it you know it was it was uh, completely you know it was completely okay with me to send it to him but to have it back is even better so that's great so anyway that's what I got I got some awesome master locks I got the Keen tool for those master lock unpins that is so awesome and i know everyone thinks i'm a dork for master lock being so excited about master locks but oh well um and i got my lever lock i, I kind of heard that in there i figured it kind of sounded like the time i mailed it to him so i kind of knew that was in there and then i got that sweet abyss that like i said i'm sure he he is not fond of me 
uh, sending him that other lock, so I'm sure he's got something nasty in there. But who knows, maybe it's all psychological, and uh, there's all standards in there, something like that. Uh, but anyhow, um, that's it. So thanks for watching, and um, I'm just going to thank Bosnia and Bill. I doubt he'll ever see this video, but <laughs> I, I really appreciate you sending me this stuff. And and like I said, you, uh, I, you're, you're, I'm a big fan of yours. Uh, you're an awesome lock picker, and um, everybody else, um, if you don't know who he is, this first video you've ever seen on Locksport, check out his channel. I'll put a link to it in my description. So um, anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, now I can um, go back to making, once I settle down a little bit, I can go back to making my uh, uh, wise key video. So that's really exciting. So anyway, thanks for watching.